and welcome to Evie's Toy House. If you've been to my channel recently, you'll know that I made two really special customs. So I made Princess Celestia and Princess Luna's parents. So this is Queen Galaxia and over here we have King Cosmos. They are the parents to Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. So I thought to complete the set, our next customs should be Little Celestia and Little Luna. So today that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make Little Celestia. And to make her, I'm going to use Sweetie Belle. Take a look at her. Isn't she adorable? So Sweetie Belle here is a unicorn. So what we're going to have to do is give her some wings and then give her some hair. And for these two customs, I made their hair out of resin. So some epoxy resin. It was a lot of fun to make and they turned out fantastic. Just take a look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that gradient. So we're going to do the same with Celestia. We are going to remake her hair using some epoxy resin. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and take off her little skirt. And let's cut off her mane. her tail too. There we go. Oh my goodness. So I've gone ahead and made the pieces for the mane and tail. So here is the tail. It's really cute. It goes on to the back like this. And then we have the mane. So here is the mane that I made out of clay. And it's in three different pieces. So we have the front piece, the side piece, and the back piece. And so when everything's put together, she will look super cute like this. So now we're going to take these pieces off. And then we're going to lay the various pieces into a plastic container. And to make the mold, we're going to be using this reusable mold making material called Composing Mold. This one is reusable and all you have to do is microwave it for about a minute to get it nice and melted. Here we are just going to pour it straight in until the clay is completely covered. I'll do the same here. Now I'm going to wait about 30 minutes for the mold to set. So these are done. Let's go ahead and pull them out of my little container here. It's really helpful to have this little stick. It makes it kind of like a handle. flat. And this is all completely reusable. So now we need to take out the clay piece so that we can fill it up with resin. So I am just going to make a cut here. Just enough to loosen the clay and pop it out. Okay, so here is our main the side piece. And now we have the tail and the other pieces of the mane. These smaller pieces actually harden from the heat of the composing mold. So now they're hard and cured. So here are the pieces. As you can see, they look really good. Now let's go ahead and pour some resin. So let's go ahead and mix a new batch of resin. When Princess Celestia was a filly, her hair is actually pink. So we are going to color this resin pink. And let's also add a little bit of glitter. We're going to pour the resin in slowly to avoid any bubbles. Now we're going to wait about 8 hours for it to cure. 
Next, with some acetone, we're going to take off Sweetie Belle's outfit. So here's our blank pony, and we're going to go ahead and take off the eyes too and redo that. Because Princess Celestia's eyes are shaped differently. Okay, it's okay to leave a little bit of an outline to help guide the new eyes. Now let's work on the eyes. This time, instead of using acrylic paint, I'm just going to use a sharpie. So we're going to draw the outline of the eyes, add some eyelashes. Color in the irises. For the wing, I am going to use this cute little mold here. So this one here has a set of wings that's really cute. So we're going to use UV resin to make this. Okay, let's take these wings out. Oh, they're so cute. Put against the body like this. Oh, this is really cute. Now I'm going to use the UV resin and attach the wings to the pony. Now we're going to paint the pony. So I'm going to be using a mixture of vanilla and paralyzing paint. Here we're painting the entire pony. We're also going to paint the wings so that it's a one uniform color. Over here on the flank, we're going to add her cutie mark. Alright, so it's been about 9 hours and I think we are ready to take this out. So let's go ahead and take out the main pieces. So at this point, they're solid enough to touch and take out, but also still soft enough that we can still bend it. So as you can see, this is mostly cured, but at the same time, it's still soft and flexible. Here is the tail. So here are the various pieces, and we can easily clean it up using an X-Acto knife. Using super glue, we're going to glue the three pieces of the mane onto Celestia's head. And then to make sure the resin is held in place, I'm going to put some plastic wrap around the hair and we're going to let the resin finish curing. Let's go ahead and take off the plastic wrap and see what the pony looks like so far. Oh, she is looking so good. So the last step we're going to do is glaze the tail and mane with more UV resin. This will make it super shiny. So I've colored the resin so that it's pink and we're going to first fill out the little gaps here between the hair pieces and we're going to cure that. After that, we're going to coat the rest of the mane with a thin layer.
All right, everyone, and we are done. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is little Princess Celestia. What do you think? Isn't the hair shiny? Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So she has light pink hair, purple eyes, really beautiful little wings. I love how the wings turned out. And of course, a super shiny tail. So. All right, so here she is with her mom and dad. Oh my goodness, this is too cute. All right, everyone, so this was a lot of fun. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you'll know when Little Princess Luna comes out. All right, see you soon. Bye.